Hey guys, Wistex Fox here. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, um, but I'm coming back with a bag. We got a bag of 1,000 wheat pennies here that I just picked up. Uh, there's a bunch of steelies in there, so it's nice to see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sorting through these. Um, I'll sort them out by decade, you know, teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of 40s and 50s. <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying to fill my album. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, but yeah, I will, I'm will. i also going to be error and variety hunting these, which should be entertaining. I don't really expect to find anything. Maybe a few repunchment marks, but I will loop you back in if I find anything. All right, so <clears throat> I'm back. I got them all sorted in teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and then a few oddities. There were 48 in the 19 teens. There were 127 in the 1920s, 69 in the 1930s, 366 in the 1940s, and 408 in the 1950s. And there were three oddities, which is a grand total of 1,021 coins. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm going to sort through the dates here, but, you know, off camera, but... Let me show you the oddities here. At first, I thought this was a blank planchet. Maybe it was an Indian, but I can make out a one. You can kind of see it there on camera. And then it says either 1880 or 1881 or 1861. There's a mint mark. And then there's like a wreath that goes around. So if you guys can make that out, you can kind of see it there. There's a one above the date. And there's 1881 or 61. Maybe 91. And then there's a mint mark there, and there's a wreath. I don't know if it flips like this, or if it would flip like this. I don't know. Uh, there's basically nothing on this side. Um, but if you know what that is, leave it down in the comments down below, and let me know. I did find this wheat scent. Um, it is weedy. Come on, focus. There we go. See, it is a weedy. Uh, but I can't seem to make out a date on it. I can read the 1-9, which is kind of obvious. It might be a 1934. Um, but I'll have to pick at it a little bit more and try to figure out what that is. And then I actually found a 1974 Denver Memorial back in here. So, I mean, we had over a thousand coins. And I paid for a thousand. Um... He says 1,000 wheat cents. I'm covering the price. Um, so cool. Pocket change. Awesome. But anyways, I'm going to sort through the teens. And we'll get into those. I'll check them against the album. I'm going to be hunting for errors and varieties. So I'll see you when I got those sorted out. All right. So we have two 1910s. Uh, no 09s in this. Um, one 1911. No 1912s, two 13s, or, sorry, three 1913s, two 1914s, one 1915, 16 P, D, and S, 17 P, and D, 18 P, D, and S, and 19 P, D, and S. Um, so that's what we got out of the 48 uh, in the 19 teens. Um, yeah, so I'm going to... Separate these out, set them off to the side. I'll go through the 1920s next, sort them out, and show you what I got. All right, and this is the 1920s. This took a lot longer to sort than I thought. Uh, anyways, 20, P, D, and S, 21, P, and S. I don't know if they made a 21D. I'm sure they did, but I'd have to look it up. I don't know. No 1922s, 23s, 24s, 25, P, and D, 26, P, and D, 27, P, D, and S. 28 PDNS and 29 PDNS. Uh, and there was 127 of these. And actually, I did find a counter stamped one that has my favorite coin dealer's name stamped into it. It's 1924 and it has Roy. Definitely looks like an older stamp. So I don't know who Roy was in 1924 or whenever they stamped that. But <coughs> this is going to my local coin dealer now. 
So, oh, focus. All right. I will sort through the 30s. I'm not going to show you guys the 40s and 50s. There's just there's just way too much there to try and sort out like this. I'd have stacks and stacks and stacks. I, I'm not doing that. But anyways, I'll sort through the 30s, and I'll clip you right back in. All right. I got the 30s all sorted out. Uh, I got almost all the 30s. Um, 1930, PD&S. 31, no, 31, DRS. Uh, 32 Denver, 33 Denver, 34 P and D, 35 P D and S, 36 P and S, 37 P and S. That almost sounds bad. Anyways, uh, no 37 Denvers, oddly enough. Uh, 38 P D and S, and I only found one of each. So that works for me. Fine, whatever. And 39 P D and S. Um, as I said, I'm not going to show you the 40s and 50s being sorted out like this because I'm not going to do it. Um, I did find, uh, I think, 42 or 43 1943 steel cents, so a little bit less than a full roll. Uh, there's some really nice 40s and really nice 50s, as you can see, one right there in the 50s, uh, which is pretty common. But there's some really, really nice ones in the 40s. Um, I'm sure I have all of the Dayton Mint Mark varieties in both years. Um, if not, I'll honestly be surprised because I did find a lot of S mints. Uh, anyways, so that wraps up this video. Uh, if I'm going to be error and variety hunting all of these uh, eventually. Um, so if I do find any errors or varieties in any of these, uh, I will post another video about it. Uh, I'll obviously get all of, like, I'll find all of them, and then I'll do one video about all of them. Um, so, yeah, that was my 1,021 wheat scent hunt. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.